new here at six. Some scary moments for an elderly Rainbow City woman. Gadsden police say she was pushed to the ground and her car was stolen by the suspect. It happened outside the Elliott Community Center there in Gadsden. CBS 42 News reporter Matt Fernandez tonight in Etowah County with the latest on the investigation. Real sad situation. An 89 year old woman was just trying to enjoy her Thursday, play some bingo, when police say a man came up to her, pushed her to the ground, took her car keys, and then took off in her 2008 Buick Lucerne. Thursday is bingo day where seniors come in and play. Wanda Bowen lives across the street from the community center, and she's used to seeing seniors go there on Thursdays. The senior citizens have a, a day that they play cards and bingo and different things and read and enjoy their visit after lunch. One of those bingo players is an 89 year old woman. She's a regular and has been playing for several years. Police say she was approached by a man outside the community center and was asking for a ride to Glencoe just before the new hour on Thursday. She told him that uh, she was playing bingo, had to go play bingo. Uh, so when he uh, attempted to snatch the keys out of her hand uh, and during this struggle, uh, shoved her to the ground um, and left with the vehicle. Bowen saw the paramedics arrive on scene shortly after. 89. Oh man, <laughs> that is horrible. Police are looking for the suspect who is described as a white man and well dressed. The stolen vehicle is a 2008 Buick Lucerne, tag number 5421 AM5. It was last seen traveling south on North 28th Street. Jennifer Hall says this isn't the only crime in this area. Just last week, a home down the road was broken into. Hall says she's always aware of her surroundings. You have to be. I drive with my doors locked. I make sure that everything's locked all the time here. As for this crime, the victim was taken to the hospital and is recovering from her injuries to her hands and elbows. And police say that suspect is still on the loose. If you have any information about this incident, you're asked to call police. Reporting in Gaston, Matt Fernandez, CBS 42 News.